Hi, Andrew here. Let's do a 300 blackout gel test with 110 grain VBAX. Uh, like most bullets that we see in 300 blackout, the 110 grain VMAX was designed for 308 velocities for 308 applications. In this case, it's designed as a varmint bullet, of course, the VMAX. But it's designed as a varmint bullet at 308 velocities. So at the somewhat lower velocities that we're going to see from a 300 blackout, we may actually see some fairly decent performance. Uh, I say that because in other calibers, uh, varmint bullets tend not to be the best choice. Um, for example, in 5.56, VMAX loads tend to penetrate inadequately for defensive purposes. Remember, they're designed for varmints. They're designed to come apart fast. At least they're designed to do that at the speeds they're intended for. So what happens when you load a varmint bullet for 308 velocities in a 300 blackout case and at 300 blackout velocities? Let's head out to the range and shoot it from the ARFCOM 8 inch AR-15 upper. One, nine, three, four. All right, so this block was a little crowded with other shots. You'll have to ignore this here. It's from another test moving that direction. This test is moving this way, and that fragment is not a part of it. The neck, approximately one inch. Total penetration, 13.1 inches. With what looks like pretty decent expansion, and I see a couple of fragments along the path, but not nearly as much as I expected from what amount, well, a varmint bullet. The TSC is about seven inches by two and a half. We'll get some measurements of the projectile when we get home. All right, that was absolutely outstanding performance. The velocity may be a little weak sauce. I did load this a little conservatively and you could probably wring a little bit more velocity from it. However, more velocity would likely lead to greater expansion, more fragmentation, more weight loss, which would of course usually result in less penetration. And as it was, the penetration is absolutely ideal. In the context of home defense or short range, normal civilian defensive use, I don't think I'd want to juice this up any because I would want to keep the penetration exactly where it's at. It's absolutely ideal. The expansion is big. Weight retention isn't perfect because there's some fragmentation, but at rifle speeds, fragmentation is kind of a good thing and it does help to turn temporary stretch cavity into permanent tearing, which of course improves wounding, bleeding, and all of that sort of messy stuff. Overall, absolutely awesome performance. So in answer to the question, yes, a varmint bullet for a 308 can actually be a pretty decent defensive bullet for 300 blackout. If you disagree with any of my methods or conclusions, if you have any questions, or if you just want to tell me what you'd like to see me test next, definitely leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.